stay and walk away. Very hard for them. Being outside in general is hard for him. He's got a phobia of buzzing insects. we're going to work on staying in heel. So you'll see Josh doing all kinds of weird moves, direction changes, pace changes. We're just trying to teach him no matter what speed or direction we're going in or what's going on around you, you never leave this heel spot. That's my boy right there. That's why we teach this off leash at first because we would like him to make all these big mistakes that he wants to make if he wants to make them like having the decision to just leave completely if we're restraining him with the leash we don't get to teach that because the options taken away so this is actually i don't know his second or third session i haven't filmed the first two that's what he's learning right there um this will come in really handy when he is startled by a buzzing insect because his safe spot will be heel. Yeah, exactly. He is just so freaking cute. I know. He I needs just to, love the way he I looks. told his like he needs to be in movies. Yeah. He's like scruffy and like perfect. Good boy, yeah. He's right? Like, so that's like what he's learning right there. He yeah. felt, he heard the tone and he ran back to Josh's leg. That's a good boy. Very, very insecure dog. Definitely need somebody to take take, take the reins. Yeah. Disagree with all the stuff you don't want. Yeah, you got to be uh, telling him when, where, and how. Yes. Every day. For everything. For yeah. everything. And then you know he'll actually his confidence will go up. Yeah, because and, he doesn't have the weight of the world on his shoulders. Yeah, he doesn't have to make his own choices. Look at this nice walk. Okay, watch. Wow, he caught himself there. Yeah, yeah good bud. job. So and what then, Josh just did was like kind of stop short and if the dog shoots past then the e-collar turns on but if they stop short with you that means they're really paying attention and you don't turn on yeah, the e-collar see look at that this guy that's amazing buddy oh my God. All right, let's see what we got here what do we got here good dog pace change yeah, so he'll run if you want to run he'll walk slow if you walk slow that's amazing. Good boy. That's a good dog. I'm gonna try a little bit of a turn this way. Good boy. Come on, bud. There's the beep. Goes Look back at to the you. Hamper. Wow. This guy's such a smarty pants. We're gonna do a little turn here. Wow. Wow. Good job. Anytime there's distance created from his head and Josh's knee, the tone is on if he's too far behind or veering too far to the left. If he starts ignoring the tone, then you can click the stem. That was amazing. Stay. Stay and walk away. Very difficult. <clears throat> Way harder than it looks. That's There, see, I'm stepping on the leash on purpose because that is such a common stay. mistake that when Josh says stay and walks away and then says the dog's name, pretty much like 99% of dogs try to recall. We want to stop that reaction. We don't want him to hear his name and just start mindlessly running. So we bring awareness to it by correcting on the e-collar and not allowing him by restraining with the leash in this case. Nice. Yeah. Good job. And this would be an opportunity for a potty break if he needed to go, but we he already went before the session. And that's just good practice. Like if you're going to take a walk with him, give him a chance to potty at the start of the walk and then maybe stop midway through, stop, sit, release him, potty, back to the walk and then maybe one more time at the end if he hasn't gone. Good boy. Really leaning heavily on Josh. Oh, yeah. I'd like to see a down at a distance. Me too.
because he knows it. I know he knows it. Okay. <clears throat> Let's walk a little bit with a leash now. Okay. So now we're gonna we'll we're gonna go to the leash, and, and believe it or not, some dogs get worse once the leash is on because the old association is to pull. So we're just making sure once he can do it off leash that he can do it on leash as well. Which, uh, interestingly enough, is the opposite of how I think it's normally trained. Yeah, I know. Train Trainers will try to restrain. On, yeah. And then go off leash. Yeah. Um, but you explain why we attention. like to start off leash. Look at the attention. I love it. Nice dog. Okay, heel. Say heel, wow. tap the tone, tap your left thigh, and start walking. And then Good almost immediately, nice almost work. immediately, you're going to have to correct if he moves out of position. The first 60 seconds Good. are when they make the most mistakes, and that gives you an opportunity to set the tone for the entire walk. I like how you explain it. That's good. Well, you do it for eight years on repeat, you get good at talking. <laughs> yeah, you do, because you do the, the go home, you know, and that's... And it's the same explanation for every good. single dog. Yeah, really, no matter the problem. No matter the problem, heel is the same. Yeah, boy, look at you. Oh, he has a really nice walk. He does. We're going to work on position a little bit now that we have this leash. Good. So, with the leash on, if Josh has to click the e-collar, it's going to be click, guide. Click, guide. Good dog. So now that's the perfect spot. That's that Good. perfect pocket to the left, slightly behind. It's like a strike zone in baseball. Take a look at this... Uh... Position. You want to switch spot? Yeah. Good boy. That's a good boy. It's really nice. Okay, we're gonna get him back here. That's not. That's not ideal for me. It's a little too far ahead. You see that? It's a little too much. So if they can turn their head to the right and see, they're too far ahead. Good. So good. we're doing some minor adjustments here. Good. Good boy. You're a smart boy. That's nice. Good. Good boy. You know what I like about Moved what you're doing? Moved him back a little bit. Because he's trying. He really is. He's trying to He's trying to put the pieces of the puzzle together. There you go. Good. There you go. That's nice. I know he just seen a bug there. I, a fly just flew in front of us. Hmm. It is kind of perfect for him because there's quite a bit of bugs here. They're, they're just zipping all over the place right now. Good. He came at the right time of year. Yeah. Same time. I know. All the bugs are coming out. I know he's got that phobia issue with bugs. I wonder if he's ever been stung and that's what started it. Um, or it could be nothing that started it. Yeah. I mean, if you startle once and run away and you think it works, that's going to be your go to. I remember one time somebody told me a fork dropped, it startled their dog, and their dog would no longer go to that area of the house. Things like that. Forever. Forever. Unless yeah. you show them otherwise. Yeah. Yep. Unless you repeat it and like you said, in, in that moment you go back and And it's hard to repeat and you and get you your actually, dog over if you don't have the recall, if you don't have ah, the training. That's true. Right? That's true. But you would you would essentially if you let's say you had that nice recall to be able to put him back in the situation. Right. You would literally drop the fork again and yep. show him Hey look, you survived. But also tell him you know, if he runs away, you know, correct, come back. Don't, don't, don't run away. Right. Then they have to stay and watch Same it. Same with the flies and buzzing Same insects. With the flies. Same concept. It's you got to show them. It's exposure therapy. That's what it is. I had it happen to my pup. Um, the first pup I raised as an adult. I remember the flies, the fly thing, because it is a thing. If they get bit on the ears and stuff. They, they can start to go into panic when they hear it. Good. Let's do a D-O-W-N. Except you're not a puppy. He's no, like he's five, five, right? He's yeah, five. So yeah. So you kind of carried on with him. This is nice. This is okay, really so nice. now our position is better. That's the position. It's actually behind the leg. You see that? That's a good boy. 